Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And, of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, the irrepressible Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next-door neighbor, Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. Hi, what's all this? Oh, they're having a tea and a fashion show at the women's club this afternoon. It's my turn to make the sandwiches. Boy, you got enough here to feed a small army. Must have been quite a job. It was. I, I no, you don't know. I'm afraid there won't be enough as it is. Well, I thought I'd just uh, take one from the very bottom. They must be stale by now. <laughs> you want a sandwich? There's some bread and peanut butter and jelly right over there. You go make yourself one. Boy, a man could starve to death in his own kitchen around here. Okay, here. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> This is a sandwich? <laughs> well, we're not having a banquet. Uh, how dainty can you get? Say, if you feel ambitious, I've got a little job you can do. Hmm. You want me to test some of these sandwiches? No, I'd like you to take them over at the women's club. They want to get an early start today. Oh, well, uh, uh, I'd like to, but our car is down at the gas station. Being washed, remember? Well, take David's car. Oh, well, you know, I never like to drive Dave's car. I thought you wanted to help. No, I didn't say that. You asked me if I felt ambitious, and I said, yes, I thought you wanted me to eat some sandwiches for you. Oh, come on. It won't take long, and I've got to get dressed. Well, gee, look at me. I've got this furniture stain all over me. I can't go down the woman's club looking like this. Well, all you have to do is take the sandwiches around the back door and give them to somebody on the committee. They probably won't even recognize you. I shouldn't have come into the kitchen in the first place. Darnie's going to deliver the potato salad for Catherine. Who said so? Catherine, he volunteered. He volunteered? Mm-hmm. Wasn't that nice of him? Hey, maybe you'll take my sandwiches over for me. No, no, no. Uh, that's okay. If Thorny can take the potato salad over for Catherine, I can take the sandwiches over for you. Oh, well, thank you, dear. That's very nice of you. There, that ought to do it. Oh, boy, look at the time. I've got to get dressed. You be careful now. You know just exactly where to deliver them. Yeah, the back door of the women's club. And don't eat any. Uh, what'd you say? You heard me. <laughs> oh, so there you are. Oh, if it isn't old helpful hubby himself. Are you trying to be a big man or something? Volunteering to deliver those sandwiches for Harriet. I volunteered to deliver these sandwiches for Harriet after I heard you'd volunteered to deliver the potato salad. Wait a minute, you're a little mixed up, aren't you? I volunteered to deliver the potato salad after I'd heard you'd volunteered to deliver the sandwiches. You're the one who's mixed up. I volunteered to deliver the potato salad after... Sandwiches. The, the sandwiches after... <laughs> Wait a minute, who told you I volunteered to deliver the sandwiches? Well, Catherine. Well, who told you I volunteered to deliver the potato salad? Harriet. <laughs> That we've been the victims of a conspiracy. We've been had. Oz, you know, I think you're right. <laughs> Evidently, it was planned well ahead of time. <laughs> oh, what do you got to do? <laughs> hey, look, Oz, you mind if I ride down with you in your car? No. Captain took ours downtown. Oh, well, we have to ride down in Dave's car. Ours will be back from the garage for about an hour. Oh, uh, shall we put this in the bank? Yeah, okay. Hey, those sandwiches sure look good. Yeah, don't they? Potato salad looks good, too. You better leave them alone, though. Yeah, the girls work pretty hard to whip this stuff up. I'll just take a small one. You kidding? They're all small. <laughs> Say, Oz, mm -hmm. are you going dressed like that? Well, what's the matter with the way I'm dressed? You got stuff all over your shirt. Oh. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Come on down to the basement a minute. I want to show you something before we leave. Oh, no, you don't. Last time you wanted to show me something in your basement, I got roped into helping you clean your furnace. Oh, no, no, it's nothing like that. Uh, I've been fooling around with this furniture stain that's turned out real great. Come on, I'll show you. It'll only take a minute. No tricks? No, no, no tricks. Okay. Wait a minute. I was the one who got roped into helping you clean your furnace. You told me there was something down in your basement you wanted me to see. Yeah, I know, Oz. I just wanted to make sure you weren't going to pull the same thing on me. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. 
jump's still there. What the heck are you <laughs> doing? What do you mean? Mark, what, what do you think? Why don't you turn off the television set and the radio? They don't turn that off. It helps me concentrate. Are you kidding? <laughs> you really like it? Yes, I do, I do. Hello? Charming of you to say so. Yes, it is. Oh, hi, Jackie. Oh, of course. You know, if I say so, it... Don't worry, I'm not listening. I got enough homework here to keep me busy for an hour. Hello? David, are you there? Oh, I'm sorry, Jackie. How are you? I'm fine. But I'm afraid I have some bad news. That is, I hope it's bad news. Oh, what's that? I don't think I can go to the party tomorrow night. There's been a new rule made at our house. Homework has to be done on Friday night for the whole weekend. Well, gee, how come? I don't know. My father just delivered the ultimatum last night. I'm afraid he wasn't exactly happy with my report card. Oh, he'll get over it. He probably just had a bad day at the office or something. I hope so. Come on, beat it. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're being interrupted. Oh, that's my brother. Will you turn down that other radio? Really so. Not the radio, it's a television set. Hello? Because of, uh, this whole I'm war. sorry, it was a television set. He can't do his homework unless it's turned on full blast. Will you watch what you're doing? You're dripping that all over my bed. Mother! Mother! Hello? I'm sorry, Dave. Will you please go to your own room? I beg your pardon? Hello? Are you there, David? Oh, I'm sorry. Can't you do your homework Sunday night? Well, Look, David, you do your homework and you want to, and I'll do mine when I want. I'm trying to talk to Jackie. Hello? 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 I think there's somebody else on this line. What were you saying? Oh, I was just trying to figure out some way we could work this out. It's going to be an awful good party. I know it. I have so darn much homework, though. Hey, I have an idea. Could you come over and help me with it? Well, sure, I'd be glad to come over. I don't know how much help I'd be. Oh, what's that number again? 1814 Hudson Avenue, isn't it? No, it's 1418. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll be right over. Okay, Dave, thanks a lot. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See, this is your own invention, huh? Yeah. Naturally, there's nothing there you can't buy at the store, but it took quite a bit of experimenting to get just the right blend. Hey, that's swell. <laughs> Say, Oz, we better get going. Okay. Go ahead. I think I better wash my hands first. Do you realize he's got the sandwiches and the potato salad in the back of that car? Well, of course I do. Why do you suppose I was yelling? Well, why didn't you stop him, Thorny? You saw him drive out of the driveway. Well, you saw him, too. Why didn't you stop him? Well, I'm used to seeing David rush out and jump into his car and drive out of our driveway. It's part of his daily routine. He does it every day. But you don't live here. Well, I won't be living next door either if I don't get that potato salad back. <laughs> I wonder where he was going. Yeah. We only knew where she lives. Oh, you think he was going to see a girl? Well, judging from the way he drove out of here, I'd say that was a pretty good guess. Yeah, I think you're right. What's the matter, Pop? Oh, uh, Rick, uh, do you happen to know where Dave was going? He got a phone call from some girl. What'd I tell you, Oz? Oh, uh, what's the girl's name, son? Well, I wasn't too interested in the conversation, Pop. I was doing my homework. Oh. Let's see. Her name is Jackie. I know that much. Uh, 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 Jackie, do you know her last name? Well, she didn't say. See, when she called, David said, hello, yes, it is. Hi, Jackie. Then he said, will you please turn down the radio? This last part was addressed to me. Well, well, <laughs> never mind the whole conversation, son. If you don't know her name, uh, what's her address? Did you hear her address? Well, I'm trying to get it straight in my mind, Pa. Uh, I know, Don't rush him, Oz. <laughs> she said something about a party because David said, gee, that is bad news. It's going to be an awful good party. Well, yes, uh, her address. Oh, I'm getting to that, Pa. Then she said... But if my husband ever found out about us... No, that was a movie on television, Pop. <laughs> so, try and remember the girl's address. Think. 
1814 Hudson Avenue. 1814 Hudson Avenue. He's going to help her with her homework. Uh, uh, now, wait a minute, Thorny. If he's going to help her with her homework, they're either over at the library or at the girl's house. Why don't you go to the library, and I'll go to the girl's house, 1814 Hudson Avenue. That's good thinking, Oz. Oh, How about Thorny. me? Oh, that's real good for you, too, Rick. Uh, <laughs> can I borrow your bike, Rick? Oh, sure, Pop. I'll only need it for a little while. Say, Pop, remember when we were up at Tomahawk Lodge last summer? Didn't they rent bikes to people? <laughs> yes, I, I believe they did. And that's what I thought. Somebody wanted to go bicycle riding, they just rented him a bike. Uh, okay, here's 50 cents, son. I think it was a dollar up at the lodge, Pop. <laughs> Dollar. Got him over a barrel, Rick. Why don't you charge him two dollars? Look, why don't you stay out of this, Thorny? Oh, no, that's okay, Mr. Thorny. A dollar's plenty. You're making a big mistake. He's on a spot right now. Well, how about yourself? How do you plan to get over the library? You seem to forget, Oz. My boy, Will, has a car. Oh, no, Mr. Thorny. Will drove up to the mountains early this morning. Oh, I know. No, <laughs> hey, wait a minute. At least let me ride in the handlebars. Hey, Oz, come back here. Mr. Thorny? I got an old pair of roller skates in the garage. I think we can do some business. Rick, you've just made yourself a deal. How do you do? Uh, does a girl named Jackie live here? Jackie? No, my name's Barbara. <laughs> well, this is 1814 Hudson Avenue. Yes, isn't it? yes it is. Oh, well, I, I was looking for... Uh, actually, I was looking for my son. You see, he drove off with my sandwiches. Oh, you poor man. Come right in. I was just having lunch myself. I'll be glad to make my sandwiches. Oh, no, yes. <laughs> This, uh, uh, this is my favorite chair. Oh, well, the, uh, thank you. This, mm, the, the coffee does smell good. Let me get you some. Uh, well, uh, there may be just one cup. I think I have some cookies, too. Make yourself comfortable. This is very nice of you, uh, Miss... Uh, Hutchins. Uh, Barbara Hutchins. My grandmother was a big low. One of the Boston big lows. Oh, isn't that nice? That's my brother Edward. Oh, oh, I was just admiring his picture. He's a very fine-looking man. Edward always was a handsome member of the family. I have more pictures of him here in the album. Oh, oh, oh no, no, really, uh, please don't. I can only stay for a minute. Now sit right down and drink your coffee. Have some of those cookies. They're my own special recipe. Oh, thanks. They look delicious. This is my grandfather, Silas Hutchins. He had a hardware store in Forest City. Actually, he was born in Omaha, but the family moved to Iowa when he was 15. Oh, he's a fine-looking fellow. Oh, and this is Brother Edward in his uniform. Oh, he was a member of the Union Army. No, he was a streetcar conductor. <laughs> Well, the, the uniform. <laughs> Fine-looking fellow. Here's Cousin Ralph. Oh, my, but he was a tease. This picture was taken the year they went to Colorado. Oh, hey. He's a fine-looking fellow. He is my sister, Elsie. She's my younger sister. Yeah, uh, she's a fine-looking fellow. <laughs> what happened to her front teeth there? She fell out of a peach tree in the backyard. Elsie was always quite a tomboy. Well, this is a very interesting family you have here, Miss Hutchins. Well, I, I'm sorry, but I have to go, much as I hate to eat and run. We've just started to look at the album. Well, I know, and I, I really love things like this, but I have some very important business I have to attend to. I'd like to come back again sometime, if I may. Oh, please do, just any time at all. Oh, and, and thank you so much for your hospitality. It was a pleasure. Oh, you've been very kind. Oh, this has just been the most wonderful day. 
Everything nice has happened to me. I've had the unexpected pleasure of your little visit. Oh, well, thank you. And my autograph picture of Liberace arrived in the mail this morning. <laughs> Good for you. Well, uh, uh, thanks once again for the coffee and for the delicious cookie. You're entirely welcome. And do call again any time you're in the neighborhood. Oh, I indeed I will. And, and uh, thanks again for your Liberace... For your... Uh... <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. been looking for David. Evidently, Ricky gave us the wrong address. He wasn't over at that house. Well, David's not here either. And it was very embarrassing, too. The way people looked at me, you'd think no one ever roller skated into a library before. <laughs> what are we going to do now? That's the very question I was going to ask you. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't this David's car? Why, sure it is. is. I think you're right. Here's his car, but I wonder where he is. Well, I don't know. You sure he wasn't in the library? Oh, that's not possible. Let's see if the potato salad and sandwiches are in the back. Oz. What's the matter? I don't know, Oz. The trunk is jammed or something. Say, maybe this isn't David's car. Oz. Yeah? My arm's stuck. Oh, uh, Thorny, uh, definitely, this is not David's car. Oz, I can't get my arm out of here. <laughs> Uh, come on, Tony, let's go. Go? Go where? I can't get my arm out. Oh! oh. Are you looking for something, Mac? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, is this your car? No, it belongs to my sister. Why? <laughs> oh, see, uh, my son has a car just like this, and uh, he drove off with some potato salad. Uh, 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 come on, Thorny, we've made a mistake here. What it's, are you uh, doing back there, bub? <laughs> Looking for some potato salad. And that's what my friend said here. Evidently, we made a little mistake. You know, I had a toolbox stolen from our trunk just last week. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that, we were just looking for some sandwiches and, and potato salad. Well, you're not going to find it back there. The only thing I got in the trunk is a spare tire. I used to have a toolbox before it was stolen. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, uh, Thorny, I think we'd better hurry home. Maybe David's back there by yes, now. Yes, we're sure sorry we made a little mistake. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, we're sure sorry. Uh, but you see, uh, we actually have our own transportation. My friend has his roller skates, and I have a, a bicycle right here. That's uh, all right, fellas. Better luck next time. <laughs> well, where do we go from here? Well, I'll tell you one place we better not go, and that's home. Hey, I have an idea. We go over to Schultz's Delicatessen. How can you think of eating at a time like this? No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, we have Schultz make us up a few quarts of potato salad and four or five dozen sandwiches, and we take them over to the women's club. Ah, uh, that would take hours. Well, maybe so, but the situation is desperate, Thorny. Well, okay, let's see how much money we got with us. I got exactly 15 cents. Well, uh, naturally, I don't have my wallet with me. It's home. Look, Oz, we're not fumbling over a dinner check. This is important. How much money have you got? Well, do you expect me to carry my wallet around this sweatshirt? I have, uh... I have, uh, 20 cents. You got 20 cents, I got 15. Say, do you think Schultz could divide a salami sandwich 48 ways? Well, there's only one thing for us to do, Thorny, and that's go home and tell the wives exactly what happened. Face the music. Yeah, it sure seems that way. After all, honesty is the best policy. The truth will out. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. A rolling stone gathers no moss. What does that have to do with it? Nothing. Except I can stall off going home as long as you can. <laughs> Guess she hasn't left yet. Oh, how about that? Well, now, this will give you an opportunity to explain the whole situation. Oh. Hello, Hi, Harriet. Hello, Thorny. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm in such a hurry. Bye. Well? 
Well, what? Oh, why didn't you stop her and tell her about the sandwiches, you coward? Why didn't you stop her? You were standing there, too. Well, why should I? She's your wife, and they're your sandwiches. <laughs> it's your potato salad. Besides, uh, I had the bicycle here and everything. You could have uh, stopped the car. I didn't have an opportunity. You could have thrown yourself under the wheels. <laughs> yes, but, uh, you know, you just don't think of a thing like that on the spur of the moment. <laughs> You know, uh, actually, we're doing the girls a favor. You know how they are about their diets and everything? Uh, there's nothing in the world more fattening than potato salad and sandwiches. <laughs> You're right. Probably spoil the dinner anyway. <laughs> Probably thank us when they get home. Come on the house and have some cookies. Sounds like a good idea. I better take these skates off so I won't ruin the rug. Hey, we're in luck. David just drove in the driveway. You think we can still make it to the women's club? Oh, sure. We can go up by way of Thatcher's Woods and swing around by the Old Mill Road. Well, that's clear on the outskirts of town. I know. We miss all the traffic that way. We can beat Harry to the women's club by about ten minutes. Well, she'll have to be driving awfully slow. Well, uh, she will be. She drives very carefully. Come on. I thought she got four tickets last month. Well, yes, yeah, she did, but they were for parking. See, she parks illegally, but she drives carefully. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Dave, uh, let us borrow your car for a minute, will you? Pardon me, son. Hey, Smokes, where are they off to now? I don't know. Pa's been acting kind of funny all day. What do you mean? We left a whole bunch of potato salad and sandwiches in the back of my car. He was supposed to deliver them for Mom. Gee, I had to take them clear over the women's club. <laughs> He's going through. Uh, here, Professor. Have a sandwich. <laughs> Are you sure your father didn't say where he was going? No, ma'am. He and Mr. Thornbury just jumped in the car and tore out of the driveway. Well, I can't imagine where they went to. It's almost 10.30, too. Hey, here's Pa now. Hiya, Pa. Hiya, son. Ozzie, where have you been? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, Dave, if you're gonna have a car, son, for goodness sakes, keep some gas in it. It's a long walk all the way from Thatcher's Woods. <laughs> The part of Mrs. Hutchins was played by Ida Moore. The part of Jackie was played by Sally Fraser. And her small sister was played by Gladys Jacobson. Henry Kolke was the tough guy. This is Byrne Smith speaking.